We warmly welcome you to the Race Course Stadium, Colombo. It's the South Under 17 Championships 2022, live from Race Course Stadium. In the commentary box, I've been joined by Joshua. Good evening, Joshua. Good evening to you. Good evening, Jana. So, to proceed with today's uh, proceedings, we've got two exciting matches for you, starting off with the match between Maldives and Bangladesh, followed by the match between Nepal and Bhutan. We are hoping to see two exciting games today. And Jana, what do you think about the previous two matches so far? I think the last two matches had plenty of goals, which is something very exciting, considering how Bangladesh, a team that looked very strong in the first game week, coming into this game to play against Maldives, who are another strong team. Here we go. The Maldivian team arriving to the Race Coast Stadium. Maldivians facing their first match in this tournament so far. They'll be, they must have analysed the match so far, which Bangladesh has already played. Now let's see what Maldives can produce in this match. Can they create an error for Bangladesh and get something out of this game? Yes, and also Bangladesh, the team that is going to play today, have been champions twice in the SAF Under-17 Championships. So, it is definitely a team to beat. But more uh, We are ready. Uh, Bangladesh is a good team, so we have seen them, how they play. So, we'll try and see if we have a good result today. Uh, so, when we came also, we thought it will be a rainy season here, so we, we have thought about it and still the game plan is the same as before. And now we can see the Bangladesh team arriving as well. They'll be with full of confidence after the performance which they showed in the first encounter, in the first match of the tournament. A brilliant, brilliant display against a strong Sri Lankan lineup, a formidable Sri Lankan lineup. But this Bangladesh team seems quite strong indeed. Do you think, Jana, that they could be one of the favourites? Definitely one of the title contenders for me. And uh, yeah, very uh, lucky and pleased that we uh, managed to uh, to beat uh, obviously the hosts. Uh, we didn't take the game lightly. We were very serious about the game. Uh, fortunate to come away with the win, so that was nice. And look forward to uh, the game this afternoon against uh, Maldives. So. Our objective is to uh, produce the same performance that we did against uh, Sri Lanka. Because <laughs> there's some dark clouds, so um, what happens we'll deal with. Uh, we're very diligent, so we'll adapt to whatever happens. Um, the pitch looks very nice, so uh, you know the uh, staff here should be congratulated, uh, considering that we had a lot of rain leading up to the first few games. So we're yeah, just looking forward to, uh, to, to, to the second game. Lining up to get to the center stage. The stage is ready, race course ground is ready for an riveting encounter between Maldives and Bangladesh. Bangladesh, a team that is very good, have won multiple championships. Meanwhile, Maldives missing out on the last edition of the Under 17 SAF Championships. So they've come back into, into this tournament after missing out on one edition. Let's see what they have got to the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem of Bangladesh. It's the national anthem of Maldives. Of Bangladesh. <laughs>
it's time for the national anthem of Maldives. Maldives. The national anthems of both teams being played out now. Both teams getting ready for live action. Handshakes going around. Fun fact for you, Jana. Uh, seven out of this whole under-17 side of this Bangladesh team actually plays for the under-20 team as well. Quite a formidable side. Oh, so many players already playing in not just in this level but in, in a higher level as well. We can see quite a lot of talent in this Bangladesh lineup, doesn't it, Jana? Yes, of course, we saw how well they played against uh, Sri Lanka last time. And Mirajul Islam plays for Mohammedan, the professional club as well. So which means they have loads of talent, this Bangladesh team to really capitalize. And here we go, the Maldives team posing for the team photo. And last match for Bangladesh. Rubel Sheikh scoring goal and also Murshed just picking up a brace versus Sri Lanka. Rana and Nazimuddin also on the score sheets. They defeated Sri Lanka 5-1. A very thumping defeat I should say. Definitely. But then again, this Maldivian side might have also done their homework and checked out how this Bangladesh team play. So I've got some kind of an idea of how this team operates and they'll be also hoping to give their absolute best in this encounter. Let's find out which team could possibly win this match. Predictions for, uh, for you, Jana? Who do you think? I've not really seen Maldives play, so as far as how I've experienced, I think Bangladesh definitely looks like a team to beat. If Maldives can really give a tough time to Bangladesh and I can say they might have a chance for the knockout. And here we go, the Maldives team, Mohamed Ajman Ali, Zad Mohamed Khalid, Ahmed Hamdan, Azliz, Mohamed Shafan Abdul Mutalib, Mohamed Ajham Ibrahim, Mohamed Jud Ashfaq, Ahmed Azulan Ali, Ahmed Akmal Nizam, Mohamed Razan Lahufan, Ahmed Shaheem, and their captain and goalkeeper, Abdullah Rafif Mohamed, making the 11th. Their coach, Ilma Hussein Ibrahim. And now we can see the Bangladesh 11, starting off with number 11, their main striker Mursid Ali, Hudif Faisal, Mirajul Islam, MJ Ratul, Swapan Hussain, Rubel Sheikh, Ashikar Rahuman, Sirajul Isl Islam, MD Asif, their goalkeeper Chandan Roy and their captain Imran Khan. And here we go, it's kick-off time here at the Racecourse Stadium. Going forward now, Bangladesh, last time they were playing in red, Today, they have switched back to green. Yes, so far we can see an attacking star from Bangladesh. And now, Mursi Dalit with the ball. Can he get a cross in? Immediately comes into play Mursi Dali. Last match he was playing on the left flank. Was really attacking. And also on the right flank they had uh, Rubel Sheikh. Who was just providing with those delicious ball. So I think we can expect another good show from Murshid and Rubel Sheikh from either of the flanks. And hoping for a long throw in over here, Bangladesh. Atul with the throw. 
Oh. A good throw in. Could have been deflected and going in. And a very, very good uh, start for Bangladesh so far. More lives on the defense. And again, you can see, Josh, that when Bangladesh, who are very good on the set pieces, try to get another goal, Maldives defenders not really proactive on that instance, not really reacting fast. So this is something Maldives can work on. Yes, definitely. In the previous match too, we saw some amazing set piece displays from Bangladesh, putting the ball in from both wings, and now here's the first corner of the game. Well cleared by Maldives, but the threat not done still. Bangladesh trying to take the shot away, but Maldives still holding on. And here we go, a long range effort goes way over the crossbar, not really testing the keeper. Chandon taking on the shot from long range. That being the first shot of the match. The deflected ball gives Bangladesh their second corner. And it's another corner this time from the other end. It's Bangladesh number 11, Murshid coming in with the ball. Ball not really cleared quite well, cleanly. Still in play. Bangladesh get back the ball, might really hurt. Maldives here, but Maldives trying to get out and try to go on the counter. But Bangladesh's defence looked well settled and they've got possession back in hand. Captain Imran Khan with the ball. Trying to find their left back. It's actually Rubel Sheikh who got the ball. And now another throw in for Bangladesh. And here we go. The coach of Maldives. Rubel Sheikh once again puts the ball inside the box. Another header that goes away from the target. It, so far it has been quite a good start for Bangladesh, isn't it, Jana? So of course, Josh, Bangladesh almost restarting the match from where they left in the last match. They looked very dangerous in the last match and once from the word go, Bangladesh looking very dangerous here as well. Not the best of clearances over there from the Maldivian goalkeeper, Razif Mohammed. Nice footwork there from Maldives. Maldives defence holding on. Tamul Nizam incoming now ball with their number 10 Mohamed Ibrahim but Bangladesh trying to snatch the ball back it will be a throw in Mali is just trying to hold on to some kind of position somehow trying to get a grip of this game huh? Huh? Bangladesh loses the ball and could there be a counter attack coming on but good defense from Bangladesh once again Here we go, Bangladesh breaking through, trying to take the shot off, but good pressure from behind. But even though no one there, Bangladesh having a free goal at the end and going for the goal. Nice shot, that. Mirjul Islam and Nazmal Faisal once again connecting. Brilliant chemistry over there from the Bangladesh forward line. Brilliant, work, fantastic display so far from Bangladesh. It has only been four minutes of time and they've already scored one goal, just as they did in the previous game against Sri Lanka as well. First ten minutes, they go off running. There you go, the goal scorer, very happy today. Number ten, Nazmul Faisal, really scoring the goal here. His first goal, missing out on score sheet the last time around, but this time already but there you go Maldives defense just opening up Bangladesh with position once again it's Rubel Sheikh with the ball pass it on to Swapun Hussein change of sides for Bangladesh Bangladesh once again going forward Mursid from the left flank puts in a cross but no one that really attack for once, it wasn't an accurate cross from Mursid. We saw in the previous match too, Mursid was fantastic in his deliveries. A goal kick to Maldives. And going back to the goal. Even though they did have an assist coming from the left-hand side, but the Maldives defense really not proactive. Almost opening up like the Red Sea. Either way, just an open goal at the end. 
I guess so far both teams just trying to feel each other out. The early nerves getting on to this Maldivian lineup. It is their first game of this tournament. It was Ahmad Shaheen who went in with the tackle and one good thing today is there is no rain. Not really sunny also, a bit cloudy. So nice con conditions once more. But I'm pretty sure this Maldivian team is feeling the heat already. That's rightly said. So another corner coming for Bangladesh. Very, very dangerous on set pieces, Bangladesh. We've already told it. So with rain not really pouring down, I think both teams would play on a surface that is not slippery. Last time around it was a bit slippery. So there's more chance of good passes. You can trust the pitch and give good long passes through balls. So let's hope. Living dangerously once more, Bangladesh. Mursi Dali with the cross. And now Bangladesh regains position. Finally, Maldivians trying to get a hold of the ball and now trying to go on the counter. The pass just being a bit too heavy over there from Maldives. And Bangladesh also, with the throw in. And also, not enough pace from Maldivian forwards. In a counter attack, two things very important pace and finishing. And on that instance, Maldives not really showcasing any pace to break the defense line but Bangladesh do through the right side cutting across still inside the box but Maldives do come in with the tackle and snatch the ball back that was some really good defending over there from Maldives but gives the ball away another throw into Bangladesh Maldives just trying to get a hold of this game so far the Maldivian defensive line has been playing quite narrowly so far in this game and now Bangladesh with another clear-cut opportunity and done very well to keep the ball in well, well intercepted by the Maldivians Bangladesh playing with a back four holding on to their defensive shape now Bangladesh Shandon Shandon just passing the ball this time trying to put the runner in their number nine Mirajul Mirajul still tackling the Maldivians to get hold of the ball. Mirajul still, but the flag goes up. Mirajul unable to get the ball cleanly, having to follow the player. That was quite good defending right now from Maldives. Maldivian Ayman Ali with the defensive work over there. Putting his body across, making sure that shot isn't taken from Mirajul. Going forward now. Ayman Ali. Ball goes out. The ball has so far quite been in both wings. More than going through the middle. Bangladesh trying to attack from both, uh, both wings. Opening up that uh, Maldivian defense. But the goal goes out to a goal kick. Maldives trying to create their first chance over here, but loses the ball. The ball with Shandon Roy back to Swapon Hussein. A fantastic pass over there from Bangladesh. Just not being able to keep the ball, but gets themselves another throw in. Most of the play has been inside the Maldivian half, just close to the Maldivian box, which is very dangerous. And Ratul on the ball now. Is it going to be a long throw? I guess it is. Another long throw coming in. Bangladesh trying to attack, but goes straight to the keeper. Almost slips it out. Keeper trying to calm things down. Trying to slow the tempo. Let's see if he can find a Maldivian player. The ball goes quite a lot uh, into the air, but not m much of a diff uh, distance. Chandon Roy with the ball, passes it on to Rathul. Back to Chandon Roy. Chandon Roy has been fantastic so far in the previous game as well. 
I think he's the player who has been pulling the strings for Bangladesh, just almost occupying the midfield area, dictating terms and making sure how the game is played. Good through ball, but unfortunately not breaking the line. Azula and Ali over there with, uh, with the ball for Maldives. They are number nine. Maldives really have to come back into this game. They have to score a goal. So it looks like India, Bangladesh, both very dangerous team. And we hope this team really comes back. Talking about Maldives now. Here we go, going forward. Bangladesh still through the right flank, tries to put in the cross. They do put in the cross, but gets a deflection. And ball goes out. Another corner for Bangladesh. Good defensive set play from all lives. Bangladesh really putting their men forward. Only one uh, player staying behind. Around the goalkeeper as well. Right on the line from Bangladesh. Good press of play. Gets the ball in, but somehow Maldives being able to escape over there. It's with their number 10. Nice nutmeg here from Maldives going forward. Mohamed Ibrahim passes it on to one of the forwards, but unable to really find the striker. Khalid really isolated sometimes up front. No one really there for his support. The Maldives striker Khalid. Fantastic throw over there from Maldives. Azum Ali trying to find the ball, couldn't get it, it under his grasp. Goes for another throw in. Not the best of throws over there from Maldives. A chance for Bangladesh to clear the ball away. It's with their captain right now, Ibrahim. A cross field pass to one of his full backs coming in. And now it's with Ratul. Ratul's pass going straight to the Maldive player, but Murshid winning it back. Rubel Sheikh holding on to position now, passing now to the midfield area, ball with Sirajul. Sirajul with the ball, gets it back to their captain Ibrahim. Ibrahim has been trying to pull off some brilliant deliveries, but over there, the execution hasn't been that good. Giving more leaves a chance to somehow get out of their uh, half. Ahmed Shahim with the throw in. Puts the ball forward for Azlan Ali. Azlan Ali with the ball. Maldives. Can he create a chance over here for Maldives? And the ball goes out. A sliding tackle comes in from Ratul to really stop that counter attack. And uh, I think once again you saw lack of pace from Maldives. If they really want to hurt Bangladesh, I think they should really increase their pace a bit. Really run around. And now we can see the Maldivian team also trying to put in a long throw ball. Can they throw it in? A good effort, but there no one being inside the box over there. Brilliant tackle over there from Maldives. Ensuring Bangladesh can't get through the counter. And you can see the first touch of Maldives has been a bit poor in defensive lines here. Another player waiting there. Is it going to be easy goal? Missing out on the first touch. Should have done better there. The Maldives number, in fact, Bangladesh number 11, Murshid. Murshid Ali, the first touch just let him down. If he had a better first touch, that could have been 2-0. I think rather than just trying to control the ball, should have gone for the goal. Not for taking sure. any touch. Should have gone straight to the goal, but missing out on a major opportunity there. Bangladesh, once again, Bangladesh going forward. They do run, have a runner through the middle. Nazmul holding on to position now. Passing it to, to Mursid. Mursid through the left flank. Can he put in a cross? He does put in a cross, but cuts back. Goes straight to Maldives player. 
Now Mollins with the ball in hand. It's Nazmul Faisal trying to cut through a few players. Goes to one, tries to go through two. And now it's Chandon Roy. Chandon gets the ball in for Major Islam. Good pressing from Maldives. Gets the ball back. Trying to create an opportunity over here. But they knew they were offside. Letting the ball roll in. Here Bangladesh playing from the back. Ball back with their captain Imran Khan. Shandon Roy with the ball. Ratul gets the ball back. Good tackle over there from Maldives, but Bangladesh gets possession back. Swapan Hussein with the delivery. Murshid Ali, can he get across in? Very nice ball control there from Bangladesh once again. Takes the long shot rather aimlessly, going away from the target. Instructions being sent out from the Maldivian coach. That's a better goal kick over there from Razif Mohammed. But a foul. Giving the ball away. Bangladesh with another opportunity to create an attack. Shandon Roy passes it on to Rotul. Back to Shandon. Ball with Bangladesh. Trying to break through here once again. Bangladesh in a dangerous position. Puts in the through ball, but Maldivian defense comes across and also the goalkeeper comes forward and collects it. Razif Mohamed, the captain, the goalkeeper for Bangla for Maldives. Bangladesh clearly looking to be the stronger side so far in this game. But it's still 1-0, anyone's game. Unusual control of ball. Shandon Roy trying to get the pass in. And now it's a throw for Bangladesh. We're almost closing into the 20th minute, but still Bangladesh looking very dominating in this game. Maldives trying to break free. They do put a long ball through the middle, but go straight to the captain. On the ball now is Ashikur. Rathul. Rathul's long ball trying to find. He's in another goal. Almost a goal there, but the keeper does very well. Razif Mohamed of Maldives. Fantastic ball in that verse from Ratul. Not the best of uh, finishes from Mirjul Islam, but also a good uh, goalkeeping from uh, Razif Mohammed as well. There you see the replay. Ensure, Razif ensured that he was able to get down on time, not letting the ball through. A short corner taken by Bangladesh. Just too much on that delivery over there. Razif Mohammed giving instructions where the defense needs to be. Razif Mohammed getting ready to launch the ball. Now, two players fighting for it, but captain getting to the ball first and now once again Maldi is trying to break free ball goes straight to Bangladesh Ratul on the ball Imran Khan gets it into Sopon Maldi is back with the ball Az Azulan Ali tried to go past and get the count in. 
Opens long ball, now chasing the ball. Sirajul, can he keep the ball in? He does keep the ball in and win a corner. He wins a corner for Bangladesh. Good defensive display over there from Mohamed Razan. A good tackle. And also a good sportsmanship shown by the Maldivian player, making sure the opponent is okay another long throw coming in for bangladesh another throw ratul on the ball now trying to put in with a long ball a good save over there from Razif Mohammed because if he would have slipped that that could have been the second goal because they have a bangladesh players all over him Razif Mohammed has been called into action a lot today within the first 20 minutes and a tough day at the office already for as if moment now going forward Swopan Swopan passes it on and ball now so so far the Maldivian team hasn't been able to test Bangladesh's goalkeeper as if <coughs> as if really having not much to do so far in this game but one clear-cut chance could make a difference Swapan passing it down to Imran Khan. Now on to the left flank. Ball with Mirajul. Sirajul, I should say. But Maldi is winning the ball. Now going forward. Rubel gets the ball for Bangladesh. Trying to gain that space in. Bangladesh loses the ball. This could be a counter that coming in for Maldives. For once, Rasi Asif taken into action. Oh. Subhan Hussain with the ball. Really bossing the midfield at times. Some of their long ball have been very good trying to find the forwards through the middle and either of the flanks as well. On your screen now, Ayman Ali who has been playing quite well for Maldives doing the defensive duties Murshid taking the corner quickly going for the goal here and they control the ball Bangladesh really trying hard to get the position back now it's Maldives turn to go forward do they have the pace they do have the pace breaking forward but no support here still going forward can he put in that pass just missing out on the last pass almost the vital pass not going in Maldives way the tackle from Ratul just had to be inch perfect and great work over there from Ratul made sure that he didn't foul the player because the foul could have definitely been the booking but brilliant uh, display from uh, Maldives as well Mohammed Ibrahim with the ball over there for Maldives Throw into Bangladesh, coming up. Bangladesh so far has clearly been banging on the door, Maldivian door. So far, only one girl to show. But they could have easily been two or three goals in front. But quite good defensive display from Maldives as well. Shandon Roy with the ball. Passes it on to Sirajul Islam, trying to find the wingers of Bangladesh. Ibrahim with another long ball. Bangladesh once again testing the box, just putting in those dangerous balls inside the Bangladesh territory. Uh, Maldivian territory I should say now Bangladesh once again to open on the ball nicely turned now on the ball Supan Hussein and Shannon Roy in that Bangladesh midfield has been providing quite a lot of creativity along with the Bangladesh captain and a shot comes in from Bangladesh blocked by Maldives so Supan on that instance tried to just unleash a shot 
from wrong from long range but not really finding the target once again can't find the forward Swapun trying to find Mirajul in that instance not being able to Imran Khan in their defense has been quite fantastic for Bangladesh he's been kind of a giant over there in that defensive four going forward Rasid Mohamed ball headed by Sirajul but did get a deflection of a Maldivian player and Sirajul would go in for a, another throw Maldives now finally trying to get a grip on this game Mohamed Razan on the ball now Maldives ball goes straight into Mursid once again Maldives trying to go forward but a handball I guess that's why the whistle went off we can see a clear difference in the two coaches as well Bangladesh Singh coaching lineup looks quite calm and uh, they seem to have no what the Bangladesh fan is the Maldivians on the other hand trying to get their boys somehow motivated and get them forward Shafan Abdul Abdul's pass cannot be really kept into control by Mohamed Ibrahim a throw into Bangladesh coming up Sirajul over there with the throw, gets it into the captain's hand. Now Bangladesh going forward, Chandon, Chandon's long ball, trying to find uh, Rubel Sheikh. Rubel Sheikh, can he keep it in? Unfortunately, he can't. So Maldives getting another throw. Mohamed Shaheen going towards the ball. Mohamed Shahin gets in another throw for Maldives. So far, after that first five minute blunder from Maldives, they have been quite good in defense. Not letting Bangladesh go once again. But even though Bangladesh now on the front seat, Maldives can't really afford to play without getting a goal back because they should try and really go forward, try to get that long balls try to make that passes which can be dangerous so Maldives do have to work on it for sure but for now I guess during the last 20 minutes Maldivians could be the happier side after the first five minute blunder they can keep on going like this until half time it will be quite good they'll be happy with it Rafi is Mohammed with the kick once again Luke. snatched again by Bangladesh Swandon's ball but Chandon cannot really find the forward once more but now it's time for Maldives to go on a counter but you can see again they aren't really progressing the ball fast enough to make any damage Bangladesh gets the ball back it's with their captain Imran Khan Supun Hussein trying to get that pass out. Brilliantly worked over there in the wing. Can he get it across for Bangladesh? Good block coming in from Maldives. Once again, ball rolling to Bangladesh. On the Shandon ball. Roy. Shandon Roy does have another player on his left. Supun. Supun passes it on to Sirajul. Sirajul can find Murshid. Can he? He done. He can't. That Bangladesh midfield just looking out for all the options possible. And sometimes rather than dribbling and running, Maldives can focus on their passing. 
they can try and pass I think they can do a bit of damage here a foul over there on more lives this could be the opportunity to, lo to launch the ball into the Bangladesh off because the ball has been being played in the Maldivian half so far in the past 10 odd minutes now Maldives number 69 Manali going for the long ball Bangladesh almost just being caught napping there Maldives could have been dangerous there Asif with the first touch of the ball for him today Imran the captain would pass it on to his right full back good work over there from Khalid Azulan Ali with the ball they do have another runner through the middle goes for the goal straight but nowhere near the target at the end but nothing shot Azula not being able to create the power or the accuracy needed over there he could have looked at the options which he had these youngsters clearly learning throughout the game captain Imran Khan with the ball Rana passing it, passing it on to captain Imran Khan Imran Khan to Chandon Chandon looking for options pa will pass it back to Rana Rana to Imran Khan again you can see Bangladesh quite happy to keep hold of position and not really try anything or not really try to go on attacks and they're quite happy to hold on to position Shandon Roy over there playing quite a similar role to what Fabien Ho does for Liverpool and now a clear cut opportunity for Bangladesh being missed and unfortunately that's also offside a break for Wally somehow but good goalkeeping over there as well from Razif Mohammed. Razif with the ball in to Azlan Ali who couldn't keep the ball with him and now it's Rupun Hussein looking for his options gets it to Surjan Islam Murshid Ali to Surjul Islam Now once again going forward here, Murshid trying to dribble pass, but Maldives getting hold of position, trying to go on a count of their own, but referee does blow the whistle. And over here you can see the view from uh, from up top, the view of Kalam, the view of race course grounds. Quite a scenic view. Quite cloudy as well today, but thanks. To the weather gods because it's not pouring the ground looking great today but with the heat on there could be some tired legs coming up in the second half as well but that's for the second half right now Bangladesh on the attack A brilliant passing over there one to one passes Unfortunately, that last pass couldn't find the target, but gets the ball back, Bangladesh. Bangladesh progressing the ball very well, but commentators curse just slipping on that instance. Now Mall is trying to get back the ball. Another foul coming in from Bangladesh. It would be a free kick for Maldives. Mohammed Shaheen putting the ball forward gets it on to Mohammed Ibrahim Ibrahim trying to cross it in trying to cut past two or three players gets the ball in 
did the hard work for most part and almost not doing the easiest part just giving the ball to the striker he didn't really have any blocks just a straight vision should have given did the hard part there you go and all he needed to do was to put a straight ball to the number 10 of Maldives Mohamed Ibrahim but rather not doing it but somehow Maldives getting their first corner of the game Mohamed Ibrahim to take the corner for Maldives a high cross in keep off Bangladesh Asif doing the work mopping up work there once again Asif launches the ball forward trying to find Mirajul but now Maldives snatching the ball trying to go forward once again Maldives trying to creep into the game they've been better than the first 25 minutes yeah, definitely the last five minutes Maldives have been really good they are trying to put in some sort of an attack which is well welcomed by the Maldives fans or even though he slips holds on to the ball goes for the goal that's an easy goal at the end it's that man the dangerous man number 11 Murshid again goes to the bottom left corner with his right foot and this is his third goal of the tournament Murshid with another clinical finish Mohammad Razan could have done slightly better he knows he could improve on that he is definitely will in the future but right now Mohammad Razan wasn't the best right over there and Murshid Ali gets onto the score sheet his first goal of this match his third goal in the tournament so far brilliant display from Murshid Ali and also you can see the body language of Rasiv Mohammad the keeper the goalkeeper of Maldives wasn't really anticipating the ball wasn't really anticipating any sort of shot coming from Murshid and that's something that you don't do because as a goalkeeper you always expect something uh, uh, some sort of a shot from the forward but rather you saw his body language he wasn't really sure if there's a shot that is gonna come and at the end was really every single one of these matches is definitely gonna give them experience which they need for the future they'll learn I'm pretty sure the goalkeeper will do nice work here for Maldives can they find the ball puts the ball in Maldives once again very nice to see them coming in attack good defensive display from the Bangladeshi captain Imran Khan Sopan Hussein with the ball in forward trying to find Murshid Ali and now it's Ahmed Shaheen with the ball for Maldives loses it out Bangladesh with another opportunity to capitalize on the two goal lead Supun Hussein with the ball. Bangladesh in no hurry whatsoever. Keeping the ball to themselves. It's Shandon Roy trying to find the Bangladesh ring. Slightly overcooked pass over there from Shandon Roy, giving more lives to throw in. Maldives once again just playing from the back a long ball trying to find their forward but two versus one and gets on to the ball first is Ashikur Rubel Sheikh just chasing the ball will get to it Chandon through the middle but swap on Imran Khan to Chandon again Shandon really stepping back when you see the Bangladesh wing backs going forward and over here comes the wing back Sirijul Islam trying to get the ball in but the ball just been too fast for him to get it'll be a goal kick to Maldives and on your screen is the tournament's highest goal scorer Mursid in the last match against Sri Lanka he got a brace couple of goals and now another goal taking his tally to three goals in this tournament
Mollis gets another throw in. Good defensive display from Bangladesh. Mohammad Razan with the ball. Maldives. The Maldivian midfield and forward line linking up, trying to get it through. But right now, Bangladesh has position. Looks like a deflection, and of course, it's not. So it's going to be a Maldivian throw. Another four minutes plus at a time remaining in this first half. Maldives would love to get a goal back before the end of the first half. So let's see. On the ball now is Mohamed Shaheen. Shaheen's ball headed off by Swapon. And now coming in. Oh, nice pass that from Bangladesh. And I don't think that's offside. Well done from Bangladesh. And Rubel Sheikh once again trying to pull the trigger, but rather gets a deflection. And in the end, it's only going to be a goal kick. It ricochets away from the Bangladesh player. Quite unlucky over there, Bangladesh. Maldives will be hoping to go into half time 2 0 down, not letting out any more goals in. If they can possibly create one more chance. Now once again Rubel Shaikh pulls the trigger and uh, not quite close to what he was looking for. Rubel over there trying to be a bit ambitious. But that's that just shows the confidence level in these Bangladesh players. Rubel trying to go for that shot. Most of these deliveries from Razif Mohammed has been into that area. Bangladesh being able to predict that and gets the ball once again. Okay, another shot here. Number eight, Swabun. Had enough venom behind it. Just rather lacking uh, the accuracy on the shot. Now you see Mohamed Razan on your screen of Maldives. Once again received by Swapun. Swapun passes it on to captain. Chandon now on the ball. Chandon's pass to Swapun again. Chandon again finding the ball. Nice passing this from Bangladesh. Once again through the left side. Mursid can he put in a cross? He does put in a cross. But the shot not coming in for Bangladesh. But they are not done with the attack. Once again goes for the shot. And keeper Razik just keeps it off. Another shot, another block from Maldives. Bangladesh trying to create opportunity after opportunity, knocking on that Maldivian door, trying to open it, but not being able to so far. They've opened the door twice. It could have easily been three or four. But some good defensive display shown by Maldives as well. Azula and Ali for Maldives. Feeling quite lonely up front. Looks like there's going to be a one minute of at a time. Yes. So one minute of at a time. Bangladesh definitely would be the happier team out of these two so far. It has been once again a flawless display from Bangladesh. And a brilliant pass trying to get in. Rubel Sheikh. Bangladesh with another throw in. So a dangerous space here once again for Maldives to defend. And a 
throw coming in from Ratul. Ratul's throw, a long throw coming in. Bangladesh, can they score? Yes, they do, but the flag do go up. And it is offside. Mall is saved by the flag that time. They wouldn't have wanted that at all. If that was 3 0 down, everything would change for Maldives. It would be damage minimization in the second half if that happened. But right now, they still do have an opportunity in the second half to show something, show what they can do in this game and try to get something out of it. Probably the last kick of the first half, and there you go. And at the end of the first half, Bangladesh looking the clear favorites in this match. Bangladesh 2, Maldives 0. And a happy man there, the Bangladesh coach. Thomas Morley definitely seems to be the happier coach. And over here you can see Mohamed Razan, the Maldivian defense over here. Bangladesh still looking at, still looking to huddle up and try out to find out different ways to improve. The Maldivian coach. And both teams now coming off in a cloudy day at Colombo, the South Under-17 Championship. Here we go now with the highlights. This was the first chance. There you go. The defense is opening up. An easy finish and getting its first goal there. This was to a wonderful opportunity for Bangladesh. Could have made it 2-0. Missed out on that. And that was also a wonderful pass. And look at that from Murshid. And the body language of the keeper. There you go. Not really expecting any sort of shot. Almost grounded on that stage. And, and the this. final goal of the first half. And that was, in, that was called offside at the end. Or would have been a goal. So that's all we have with the highlights. We'll join you in 15 minutes of time with the live action of the second half. Thank you.
Back, ladies and gentlemen. We are back live here with the SAF Under 17 Championships. Live from Racecourse, Colombo, Sri Lanka. And today it's Bangladesh taking on Maldives. Bangladesh already having a win under their belt. We'll, taking, we'll take on Maldives in the second half again. So far, throughout the first half, what we can see is that this Bangladesh team once again showing their domination. Just like in the first match against Sri Lanka, Maldives holding on somehow into this game. So far, it's only 2 0. So, Bangladesh already have one foot on the win. Can they create more chances or will Maldives find a way to create some counter attacks and get some goals in? Let's find out. And there we go. Maldives onto the ball but can't really control it another throw straight away inside the second half <laughs> Bangladesh once again trying to start off offensively as possible trying to get the ball into the box another long throw in throw Rattle with the throw in and uh, just loops it above another chance going begging here for Bangladesh almost the third goal uh, third goal today make your pardon that was a really good opportunity for Bangladesh mm. a misplaced kick getting onto Mirjul Islam Mirjul could have directed his header slightly bit more better and if he did it could have easily been 3-0 now Razif Mohammed with the goal kick. Bangladesh trying to create another opportunity. Good defensive display over there from Maldives. Maldives holding on to another deficit just about two goals behind. So they make sure they don't concede another goal. The Maldives have to get a couple of goals here to come back into this game. It's the Maldivian number four, Mohamed Razan. Razan. Bangladesh trying to create another opportunity over here. Maldivians tr somehow trying to get the ball away. Back with Rattle. Goes all the way back to Asif. Asif looking for his options. The ball is captain Imran Mohammed. Mohammed looking for options once again and locks the ball to the left winger. Shined on, on the ball now. Back onto Ratul. Ratul trying to create an opportunity. This could be the chance. A valid effort from Mirjul Islam, just off target. He was trying to find that top corner over there. And in that replay, we can clearly see it was quite close. But in the end, it's just a goal kick. Rasif Mohamed, the Maldivian goalkeeper, now launching the ball. Cannot be kept in by Bangladesh would be a throw in for Maldives and now another throw in Maldives in no hurry whatsoever Trying to find their number nine, Azlan Ali. Now Bangladesh trying to break forward to good pace. Can he find the right pass? Rather goes to his right. The ongoing striker here, Ratul. Ratul's pass to Mursid. Mursid very good on crosses. Can he put another good cross? He cuts back in. Tries to get the shot away. A long range shot incoming, I guess, but no, rather would turn around. Still on the ball, not enough communication there between the Bangladeshis. Not the best move over there. Try and not enough chemistry from Nazbul and Murshid. They're number 10 and 11 trying to combine. 
Bangladesh once again with the ball. Murshid Ali trying to wriggle past those defenders, but the ball goes out of play. Mall is trying to go on the counter, but loses position. Azlan Ali, all alone up front, Azlan Ali. Khalid, too, trying to create something out. And now Bangladesh once again with a forward move. Bangladesh coming inside now, looking dangerous, cutting across. Can he take the shot away? He can't. Maldivian player really struggling to keep hold of position here. Maldives now snatching the position through the right side, puts a long ball but gets a deflection. Would be another throw in for Maldives. Rafael on your screen. The Bangladeshi full back. Already we can see players warming, warming up here beyond the touch line. So we might expect them to come in anytime soon. Mohammad Razan trying to get the ball in. Puts it forward. And now here comes Azlan Ali. Loses possession. Asif letting the ball go. Azlan Ali with the opportunity. Bangladesh clears it. Maldives just wasting a golden opportunity there. I think these are chances, half chances. You, ch you just change it into full chance. Into complete. Ah, nice ball through the right side. Bangladesh looking threatening once more. Murshid on the ball. Murshid coming in, puts in across. Does he goes for the shot? Got too much of elevation on the shot. Going away from the goalkeeper always. Murshid trying to go for the spectacular. Trying to create that angle which he wants. But the goalkeeper did have it covered though. Really trying to create that space. But good effort, good confidence being shown by these Bangladeshi youngsters. And now the Bangladesh defensive line with the ball. Ratul. Shandon Roy gets it on to Nazmul Faisal. Nazmul Faisal looking for his options. Gets the ball back. Brilliant bit of passing from Bangladesh. Once again Ratul puts the ball in. This might be a goal here for Bangladesh. Nazmul goes for a cross. He thought for us is a kick for a moment but then changed his mind and here we go Mirajul coming in Mirajul cutting across once more Mirajul a long shot coming in Mirajul trying to create that opportunity and now Bangladesh with an opportunity a good defensive display from Maldives just keeping across defenders to try to get a shot away but defenders really closing the gap there once Na again, Nazmul Faisal has been quite instrumental. The Bangladeshi number 10. And now Murshid Ali gets it onto the wing. Mirjul Islam with the ball. Mir Mirjul back to Nazmul, gets the ball from Nazmul. Some brilliant bit of tiki taka going on from Bangladesh. Once again, you can see two versus one Bangladesh snatching the ball back. But this time, the Maldivian number 16, Ayman Ali. Ayman Ali has been very good for Maldives today, really looking after that right flank. At most times, once again, Nasmul trying to take the shot away, goes for an awkward shot at the end. I think he went for the shot, but rather it got converted into a cross. It is not really truly hit by the Bangladeshi number 11, Murshid. Already three goals under his belt in this tournament. And now two substitutions coming up. Maldivian number 23 coming in. Mohammed Nami Nafiz. 23 coming in. And so is Mohammed Bin Nu. Yeah. 
Now puts the cross in and goes straight to Rasib Mohammed. Molly is trying to slow the game down a bit. The kick straightly going to the Bangladeshis. Another change coming in for Maldives. Number 23 coming in. Number 6 going out. So which means in comes Mohammed Nami Nazif for Maldives and goes out. Ahmad Akmal Nizam. Akmal Nizam did have quite a quiet game so far. So that's why I think the substitution is being made. back into the Bangladesh defense a brilliant ball in Bangladesh once again you can see I think this has been the tactics of Bangladesh both the flanks at one point really cutting across trying to cut in and play in a central role so which is something that is noticeable from the Bangladesh team <laughs> A shot taken, but good block coming in from the Maldives defense. But now Maldives trying to go on the counter, but not enough pace as usual. But Bangladesh snatching it back. Murshid trying to give it across. Not truly really hit, but this might be a goal. Once again, not really finding the target. Maldives with possession. Mirjul Islam. Aslam Mali with the ball for the first time in the second half. Aslam Mali makes a run in. Can he get the shot away? Good save over there from the Bangladesh keeper Asif. Aslam didn't have any options. He had to go to goal. There was no one around him. Once again, you can see nice calm passing going in for Bangladesh. Good through ball. Now on the left flank, Bangladesh once again trying to cut across, cut in. And they do that. That has been evident in Bangladesh's game throughout this match. Bangladesh gains back position. Cutting through one, two, three players. Goes for the shot. Takes on a deflection. It's a corner for Bangladesh. The first corner of the second half. Once again, Bangladesh have been playing out strongly in the second half as well, creating the pressure, going in one-on-one -on -one and rewarding themselves with a corner. Can they get a bigger reward and get themselves a goal? And we are nearing the one-hour mark in this game. Another header gone wrong for Bangladesh. I think rather he thought of really looping the ball for someone to head it but not really finding the correct header Saiful Islam Rafis Muhammad with the ball in a good clearance over there from Bangladesh Mall is just trying to hold on to the ball but under pressure puts the ball out. Bangladesh coach Thomas Mall, he definitely seems to be the happier man. Mark and now Mali. here comes an opportunity. Mall is once again trying to go forward but a foul play. Oh, you can see both players just things heating up here it's Imran Khan the captain of Bangladesh now passing it on to Asif Asif to Ashikur Ashikur passing it on to Chandon and they have a runner Ratul on the right side Two 
to the right flank, puts it across. Mohamed Ibrahim with the ball. And another opportunity coming into Bangladesh. Can they create an opportunity right now? Passing it around the box. Ratul with the delivery. Not the best of efforts over there from Ratul. Ratul really went for the shot there. But not managing to keep the ball. I think he was trying to put in the cross. Not sure if it was a cross or a shot. He cannot keep the ball low enough. Ratul. And just the ball just taking the aerial path at the end. Here we go. Wasif Mohamed once again launching the ball for Bangladeshi defence. But good to see sometimes small leaves also committing more men forward. Bangladesh once more pulls the trigger. But this time Rasif Mohamed holds on to it. Good effort, good execution as well, but just not enough power in that shot. The accuracy was there, the power was only lacking. Rafis puts in the ball long. Small is getting a throw in out of it. And Ahmed Shaheen with the throw in. You can already see good support for Maldives in the stands as well. Lots of Maldivians really turning up in numbers to support Maldives. And I can imagine if at all Maldives do find a goal. The stadium would just erupt into Az celebrations. Azula and Ali over there just finding himself in an offside position. If he was able to time his run, that could have been a one on one chance with the goalkeeper. While attacking Bangladesh, sometimes almost switching back to a back three ratul on the right back passing it on a long ball trying to find another striker but this time rasif mohammed just collecting it no damage done at the end but good idea that from the center back to really find the long ball to one of his strikers rafi is over there taking his time Some brilliant passing going on over here from Maldives. Gives the ball away. Make sure to clear your lines. That's Maldives' first team right now. And over here you can see the crowd. Maldivian and, and Bangladesh fans. Yes, well. rightly said, Josh. Both set of fans coming today. Very nice to see, especially in a neutral venue. Both set of fans. Now you see the Bangladeshi flag. Been proudly waved by the Bangladeshi supporters. They'll be quite happy with their display, what they're seeing from their boys. So far, it has actually been quite flawless from Bangladesh in both the matches. Oh, the pass just hit a bit too hard. And goes for a throw in and Molly, the head coach of Bangladesh, would be very delighted. Bangladesh seems like they're getting for another change. Sirajul Islam waiting not to put the ball in to see if there is a change coming up for Bangladesh. It seems like there will be a change before the throw-in is taken. I'm not sure why the delay is. They are waiting for 
confirmation but somehow for now in the first 60 minutes one thing we can see is that Bangladesh definitely dominated in this game more leaves trying to create some kind of a chance out of it but still it's only 2-0 one goal could get them back into this Not sure exactly what the issue is. So far, it has been quite a seamless display in this today's match, and be sure to come out live at 8 p.m. as well for the second match of the day in between Nepal and Bhutan. Bhutan who played their first match against India two days ago losing 3-0 but quite a good effort given by the Bhutanese. They've had a good game even though they lost 3-0. They were quite unfortunate not being able to score even at least once. As for Nepal, it will be their first game. It will definitely be quite an interesting encounter between those two teams as well. And even in this game, we have seen quite a lot of action. And also, in the other match today, we have another encounter waiting for you. Nepal taking on Bhutan. And the players now getting back onto the field. A slight delay. And now everything is back for action. Bangladesh with the throw in. Rattle with the ball. Gets it into Shandon. Shandon combining with his midfielders. Gets the ball into Nasmul. Nasmul getting the ball back. A brilliant pass over there from Nasmul and a good effort. Uh, just off target from Murshid Ali. But brilliant, brilliant display from Nasmul and Murshid. Almost finding another goal here at the Bangladesh. She's Great strike from Murshid. This time with his left foot. I think one thing we notice with Murshid is he's quite well with both fo both feet. Taking the ball on from his left and right. And also I think the first goal came with the right feet. If I'm not wrong. Yeah, it definitely must have been. And now here's an opportunity for Bangladesh. Gets themselves a corner. Bangladesh in with the corner. Not the best of corners this time from Bangladesh. We have seen them being quite good with corners in the previous encounter. And now here's an opportunity. Easily cleared by the Maldivian on the last instance. Gets themselves another corner, Bangladesh.
A short corner taken in from Bangladesh. This could be the opportunity cleared by Maldives. Bangladesh lose in their flanks. Just losing the ball out over them near Maldives. Now Bangladesh once again. A throw. Bangladesh breaking free here. A cross coming in. Just missing out on another opportunity, Bangladesh. A perfect cross at the end, but unfortunately, Siraj will not really completing it. Mirjul Islam really with that cross in. But once again, Bangladesh with possession. Nazmul Faisal with the ball. Gets it into the Bangladesh forward line. Oh, this could be the opportunity which Bangladesh needed. Unfortunately, not being able to control over there, Murshid Ali. Losing the ball out. That's a breakthrough for Maldives. And I think also the flag did go up. This looks like it. There you go. And so Murshid would be delighted that the flag did go out. Because, because if not, it would be a chance missed. We can see some activity going in the Bangladesh dugout. We might expect. Now that's the opportunity for Murshid. We Just offside. We might expect some change from Bangladesh. A player down on the far side. It's Maldivian number 10, Mohamed Ibrahim. Seems to be just a cramp. Mohammed Ibrahim has been quite a bright spark, spark for Maldives. One of their shining lights definitely has to be Ibrahim. Hopefully he's okay and nothing uh, serious. Changes coming in for Bangladesh. Number 12 coming in. Siam Omit. And out goes Murshid Ali. And there you go, another change. Sirajul also coming in for Omit. Mithu Chowdhury coming in as well. So two changes. Siam and Mithu Chowdhury coming in. Out goes Sirajul and Murshid Ali. Mithu and Mithu gets their opportunity of action right now. Nazmul Faisal with the ball in. And a brilliant finish over there from Mirjul Islam. He has been a bright spark for this Bangladesh lineup. Fantastic display from Mirjul. Bangladesh have been very, very dangerous in this tournament. Earlier game, that was five goals. Now, within the 75th minute, they have already scored three. Can we expect another two goals, Josh? We might. Yeah, it could be. There could be a chance where Bangladesh could score four or five, or maybe one goal from Maldives could lighten them up as well. We never know what could happen next. It's football. Another 15 minutes plus at a time remaining in this game. Hopefully, it won't be 15 long minutes for Maldives. Maldives trying to put the ball in forward. Good defensive display. Just losing out though. In fact, the ball did go out. Bangladesh in no hurry whatsoever. Gets the ball in their wings. Good passing over there from Chandan Roy. Now on the o ball. Omit with the ball. And another substitution coming up. 
number seven coming in, number ten going out for Maldives, which means Aksan Ahmed Nasim going in, and out goes Mohammed Ayham Ibrahim. Another cross coming in. Has Rashif kept it in? Nope. Yes, yes. In fact, that's good goalkeeping over there from Rafi Razif. Maldives trying to create an opportunity. This could be the opportunity which Maldives were looking forward for. Could they put in a long throw in? Maldives takes on a short throw. Bangladesh able to clear their lines. And Bangladesh coming on with the counter attack over here. Bangladesh with one, two, three men forward. Goes for show goal, and it is the fourth goal for Bangladesh. Another splendid display shown in from Mirjul Islam, getting his second goal in this second half. Great work over there, and not the best of goalkeeping over there from Rafi Razi Mohammed, their captain, Maldivian captain. Miraju has been excellent in this half, coming in and already scoring a couple of goals. You can see just pulling the trigger from a very tight angle, I should say, but keeper's fault completely. Razif Mohammed had, even if he had just parried the ball away, could have been better, but the ball just went through his arms, which isn't acceptable. Razif just not being able to get down on time. He tried his best just not good enough but just definitely in the future he'll be improving as well a few minutes ago we were talking about how bangladesh could score five goals and now they're on four you never know another goal might come might be around the corner let's wait and watch good effort over there from nasbun faisal just not the right ex execution Another change being readied from Bangladesh. And could there be another opportunity over here? Good defense from Maldives. But Bangladesh once again with the ball. Maldives being able to clear their lines. Azlan Ali not being able to get the ball from Maldives. A tackle over there from Bangladesh, fouling Maldivians. And now here comes a change, a goalkeeper change coming out from Bangladesh. It's Asif who's going out and Sohanul Rahman coming in for Bangladesh. Quite a strange substitution. Normally we don't see goalkeeper substitutions. Uh, unless someone is injured and also he hasn't really considered a goal so more like saving his legs and also giving the second goalkeeper opportunity in this tournament now with Bangladesh already playing the two games will not feature in the third game week if they really win this they almost have sealed their position in the Knockouts in the semi finals almost. Good defense once again from Bangladesh. It's Ashiku Rahuman who gets it back. And if Maldives do lose this game by five goals, then the last game between Sri Lanka and Maldives would be very interesting considering how both teams have considered five both almost on same goal difference so we might have a crack of a game yes the goal difference between Sri Lanka and Maldives currently in minus four a 
Free kick over here to Mollius. Free kick taken short. Trying to create an opportunity. And it's offside over there from Mollius. That was clearly offside. The Mollius front line not really considering the offside trap there. Short pass from the goalie. Bangladesh just saving their time, saving their legs. And the ball goes out of play. The weather has been quite good today. The weather gods have definitely been in our si on our side, unlike two days ago. Once again, ball put out. Another throw coming in for Bangladesh. Could this be the effort which Bangladesh were looking forward to? To get their fifth. Loses position. Maldives on the counter. And loses position once again. Maldives. Mohammed Nazif not being able to keep the ball with him. Hits it, hits his own man over there, Bangladesh. Gives the ball away. But gets it back cleanly. Ratul with the ball. To Nazmul Faisal. Back to Ratul. Ratul creating that sp space and give it to Shreful. Shaiful, sorry. And now, Bangladesh once again knocking the door. Is this their fifth goal? And looks like a clear foul. And it is another free kick for Maldives. Maldives gets an opportunity to get the ball out of their half. Let's look at this foul over here. Just a push. And now an opportunity over here for Bangladesh. Gets the shot away, deflected. And Bangladesh still have their ball in them, but loses it out. Maldives with some 1-2-1 one, one passing. Gets it out to their number 7, Muhammad Nazin, who loses the ball. Now Bangladesh once again progressing the ball through the left flank going forward. They do have a runner through the middle and finds him. Alarm him all. And there we go once again cutting in. The iconic Bangladesh play from left flank to coming in once more. Just pulling the trigger but rather the ball. Just, just goes above the keeper's head. Exactly taking an elevated path once more. Rasiv Mohamed, the captain of Maldives, looks like he has camped up a bit. Rasiv just getting a cramp over there. Let's look at that effort over there once again. A good effort, just off target. Mirajul just having a word with the referee. And Mirajul really looking for a hat trick there. So just making sure Rasi does not really waste any more time. Maybe Bangladesh, uh, in fact, maybe Maldives, are looking to see off the game because they might be on equal goal difference going into the game against Sri Lanka. So maybe that's a tactic you never know that game between ba Maldives and Sri Lanka will be happening on this Friday at the same stadium race course grounds
All fine for Rafiz Razif. Razif seems to be okay. Razif now get the pass in. Straight away gives the ball away. Maldives trying to create an opportunity. Bangladesh puts the ball out. A throw in over here to Maldives. And now an opportunity coming up. Loses position. Bangladesh once again now going forward through ball. Falling nicely for Bangladesh. Looking to hurt Maldives once more. Coming across, cutting across. Bangladesh in good chance. Might take the shot here. Are they going to take the shot? Some last minute ditch defending coming and saving Maldives from conceding another goal. Nazmul Faisal just trying to cut off one, two, three, four defenders over there and then ending up not being able to take this shot. That last shot wasn't the best from uh, Bangladesh, but clearly they do want to score one more goal in them. They want to try and get their fifth just like they got it two days ago. Ball goes straight to Bangladesh. Maldives snatching it back. Can they go on a counter? But their passing hasn't been great. Once again, Bangladesh just getting hold of the position again. A through ball to place attacking, but rather another throw for Bangladesh. The captain with the ball in. But Maldives gets the ball back. Now Smul Faisal for Bangladesh gets through one defender. A valid effort over there from Bangladesh. But Maldives with another opportunity to clear their lines. Shannon Roy with the ball. Gets it on to Alan Himal. And Rafiz Mohammed gets the ball back into his gloves. Trying to calm things down. Ensuring that they are not going to concede any more goals. Almost in the 90th minute now. Interesting to see how many minutes we are going to get as at a time. Bangladesh goes for the goal, but out comes Rasif and puts in another save. But the threat still not done. Bangladesh still on the ball now. Oh, nicely cut in. Is it going to be a foul? Yes, it is. So a free kick just outside the box. Miraju once again being a major headache for the defenders of Maldives. Mirajul definitely has had a really good game just like he had one two days ago. And over here cramps creeping in. Hopefully it's not anything serious and the magic spray being spread. And 
you saw the referee just signaling the linesman that the fourth official that he wanted seven minutes of other time looks like the game would be extended by another seven minutes there you go so seven minutes of other time so mold is having to hold on to another seven minutes can they do it and can they even create a chance and get a useful goal out of this game but right now they've got to defend this free kick from Bangladesh four men on the wall Bangladesh creates an opportunity just overcooked it goes over the crossbar but valid effort over there from Bangladesh it was Mirjul Islam with the shot Rafiz Mohammed trying to slow things down a bit. Nicely done there by the Maldivian midfielder, but not really finding the forward once more. Bangladesh gets the ball back. Here comes another opportunity. Cuts one, two players, or oh, just misses out. Maldives loses possession though. Once again, Bangladesh taxing the ball back and coming in the intention or with the intention of attack. Mirjul has been quite inspirational for Bangladesh once again with the ball. Mirjul with the shot. Right on to the keeper. Mirjul just wants his hat trick. That's all I can see. It will be a second half, second half hat trick if he gets it. So far, two goals in, uh, in the second half for Mirjul. You see, Bangladesh once again getting hold of the position. Bangladesh in no hurry whatsoever. Imran Khan to Rahul, but the ball just rolls away. Cannot control it. A throw coming in from Maldives. A rare mistake over there from Rahul. Rahul too has been one of those parts for Bangladesh today and two days ago. Puts a long throw in from all lives. Not being able to find Azlan Ali. Good defending over there from Ratul. A long ball. Nicely finding the Bangladesh left back. Through ball. Oh, very nicely done here. Bangladesh are putting in some delicious ball. But once again, referee says no foul. Mold is trying to go on the attack. They just have one player forward. No real support for Mold is to go forward. Only about a couple of players going forward. I think they can take some chances and go forward. But right now, I think their intention is not to let Bangladesh score and extend the goal difference. Exactly. Mold is just trying to hang on. And ensure that they don't make any mistakes. Azlan Ali really not getting any chances whatsoever for Maldives. He has been up front the whole game. And now this is an opportunity over there. But offside. Flag. Quite a close call from the referee. Flag does go off. It looks very tight but at the end good call from referee that was only the last part that you saw so quite deceiving there is a moment
throw into Maldives. Mohamed Razan, Maldives number four, has been taking those throws. Once again, long ball. Bangladesh have been pinpointing crossings and they are passing once again. Miraju comes and tries to put in a delicious ball. Still on hunt here for the third goal. Miraju. That's a good bit of defending over there from Razan. Another Maldivian player going down on the far side. Cramps really starting to creep in for both the sides. Could this be one final opportunity for Bangladesh? About 40 odd seconds remaining in the final minute of at a time. Can Bangladesh get another goal? It's going to be their number 10 Nazbul on the ball. This could be the last corner of the game. Can Bangladesh get the delivery in? Or will it be a short corner? Yes, it will. Braju goes for the goal. And finally, they do get it. It's Mirajol who is just hat trick. Eventually, he gets it. We were talking whether, we were just wondering whether he can get the hat trick. There you go, that is the answer. Miraju getting his third goal, Bangladesh getting their fifth. It's just not been just only a hat trick, it's his third goal which was scored in the second half itself. All three goals coming in in the second half for Mirajul. He has been a bright spark over here in the second half. Goal. Goalkeeper once again, ball watching, but reacting fast enough. And there you go, almost done with the time. I guess once the kickoff does, and um, once they kick off again, it's going to be the whistle. Mirajul for me definitely is the MVP of the match today. What do you think, Zala? Of course, Mirajul with three goals is the star man for Bangladesh today. Another good performance from Bangladesh. Another performance which almost annihilates the opposition. So, another fifth goal. Another win with Bangladesh scoring five goals. So, very clinical performance from Bangladesh in this match as well. Mirajul rightly getting the match ball as well. And brilliant bit of uh, refereeing as well. Players going out with their handshakes. Lovely to see that. These youngsters, under 17, talented kids. What a match we've seen. And here comes the highlights. That was the first goal of the game. Good passing, good bit of chemistry over there from Bangladesh. And here we go. The second goal. Moshe is just cutting across. And look at Rasif Mohamed not really anticipating the shot. And the ball just going in. This was another good opportunity. Miraju's third goal. In fact, Bangladesh third. Miraju's second and this is the fourth goal Miraju's second goal just we were wondering whether he can get the hat trick and there you go that was the answer he did get his hat trick Miraju with three goals Bangladesh with five now Bangladesh almost qualifying into the knockouts And now here comes the stats for you. Bangladesh with five goals, more lose none. Ball position, 39.5% for more lose. As for 60 for Bangladesh, once again, 30 shots for Bangladesh. We saw 32 in the previous game as well. More lose with just three. Eight saves for the goalkeeper for more lose, one for Bangladesh. Three fouls, eight fouls being committed by Bangladesh, but they were quite clinical. And then when it comes to corners, 11 corners for Bangladesh, one for more lose, two offsides for Maldives and three for Bangladesh and, and that's 
the stats for you. And another clean game, no yellow cards or red card. Nazbul Huda Faisal, the first goal, Murshid Ali, the second. Murshid Ali's third goal of the tournament. He also looks very dangerous for Bangladesh. Mirajul Islam, 73, 76, and 90th minute, just scoring a hat trick in no time. So, this is Bangladesh really getting the better of Maldives in this game. And um, that's how it is. We will also try to find Mirajul or the captain of Bangladesh, Imran Khan. And let's see what they are thinking about this match. An aerial view of Colombo, no rain at all, even though it's cloudy, even though it's gloomy. The ground looks so beautiful from above. We can see the whole of Colombo here, the drone really doing its job, capturing the whole ground. And now here comes the flash interview. So what he said, the spectator will, will judge whether he did good or bad, but he tried his level best and of course it was a tough team performance, the team helped him a lot and that's how he scored and he would like to continue this for the next games. Balo Kelse are Amra final same final a coach jet a ball base a unusual Amra Kelbo are Shobai on a ballo pillar Amadir Aramaka on a help course that are a goal at Jono Aramio goal course see Balo Laxer okay the players are happy with the score and we will go by match by match as as the coach says previously so whatever the coach plan for the next game we will go ahead and on and play against the, whichever teams comes up And that's all we have with the live coverage of this game. We'll join you again for the next game. Stay tuned. Thank you.